So now we compare a calculating a volume with uh, uh, calculating a definite integral over some function. Uh, what we did was uh, slicing up the the solid into cylindrical shells. So we had the interval minus one one. We cut it up in equal intervals, and at each interval, like here, interval i, we sampled an xi star and uh, looked at the function, the area function, which gives rise to the area a xi star over here. Yeah, and we this delta x it gives the width of the length of the ith interval. Then what we did was calculating the cylindrical shells as an is estimate of the volume of a solid, which now actually equals the height of such cylindrical shell times the surface area spanned by the cylindrical shell. So the volume of the ith cylindrical shell is axi star times delta x. And if we sum all those, then we get a kind of Riemann sum. Now we get the volume of the solid by refining this procedure, just like we did with the rectangles for the definite integral to find the surface area enclosed by a graph of a function. We now find the volume of a solid by taking the limit of Rn, so the limit of n to infinity of the sum over the volumes of the respective smaller cylindrical shells. Well, then this resembles a Riemann sum, not with respect to the function f we had before, but now with the surface area function or the function a of x. So the volume, we get the volume if we would know the area that is spanned by for some value of x, ax, if we know would know that this function, then we could just find solids by the definite integral from a to b of ax dx. In the next clip, I'm gonna use this technique to find the uh, volume uh, spent by enclosed by the unit sphere in R3.